How to create infinite possible returns with minimal risk. My name is Don Kaufman. You are watching a Theo Trade presentation. A few things up front, risk disclosure. We're not financial advisors nor a broker dealer. The reason I always throw this up front uh, to get personal, well, I spent 15 years in the brokerage world uh, prior to us founding Theo Trade. So I like to make it clear, I'm no longer in the brokerage business. I'm free at last. Of course, uh, free of the regulators and regulations and uh, uh, free of compliance department at, uh, at TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim. It feels very good. The next thing is, this is a copyright disclaimer. The other reason and the primary reason I throw this uh, on the screen, if you need to get a hold of us, okay, here we go. Support at theotrade.com is the best way to get a hold of me. And you just have to put in there, hey, this one is for, uh, this one's for Don. Just put, uh, put Don in the header. They'll send it on to me. And people always ask, like, can I get a hold of you after tonight's presentation? Uh, by the way, I answer emails. I like to answer emails. I answer dozens and dozens of emails every single day, trade-related questions. We're fine with that. That's what we're here for. So this is a little bit about me. I always ask this question as well, you know, first of all, where everybody's kind of joining us from this evening. And the other aspect I like to know is, um, <clears throat> is this the first time you've ever been to a Theo Trade presentation? Because if it is, get ready. You're getting thrown in the deep end of the pool. Hope that's all right with everybody. Um, yeah, again, how many people are here for the very first time? I have no idea what they're about to get themselves into. So a little bit about me, if you are a little newer, because many of you are. So I started trading in the late 90s, specifically 98. I do come from a family of traders. In the late 90s, I was invited uh, to clerk in Chicago. Short time after, I, uh, I started trading as a firm trader. Uh, only about 18 months after that, I was invited to a startup brokerage firm. That brokerage firm happened to be called Thinkorswim. There were only a handful of employees at the time. We built the company from when I started there, again, you know, it's 12, 15 people. We built it to about uh, 733 people and then were acquired by TD Ameritrade. And I was there from uh, pretty much the get-go to, you know, 733 people. And what I did is I built the education division, not only of Think or Swim, but then I went on to actually run education for TD Ameritrade and TD Ameritrade Institutional. So it's a little bit about my background, but I've traded actively the entire career, which is about a 21-year trading career now. Um, I've also done a couple of tours on CNBC and so forth. This is, again, one of the more memorable ones. Um, by the way, I, I hate to ruin it for you, but uh, Kevin O'Leary, right? You know, one of the most hated men. This couldn't be a nicer guy. I don't want to ruin it for you, but he really is one of the nicest guys, specifically on this particular interview. We were, uh, we were delayed because there was some news that broke. We were talking to one another for a good 35 minutes before the interview. I really get along with the guy. I do. Uh, a little bit about Theo Trade. So we specialize in education for stocks, options, and futures. And here at Theo Trade, we're founded by professional traders. And all of the trading educators and all of our instructors have a minimum of 15 years of experience, a few of us with a couple of decades under our belt. And Theo Trade, and I say this right up front, we're here to help you mitigate the risks in the market. We're learning a skill set. It's going to last you a lifetime. Now, the other aspect I like to bring to your attention uh, about Theotrade is we are not like what I would term the one trick pony of education firms. We have got not just a staff. I mean, I kind of call this it's if I were to put together a team, even when we were at uh, TD Ameritrade, uh, we didn't have this good of a team, even at TD Ameritrade. Now, mind you, it was a $20 billion company when I was running education at TD Ameritrade. The team we have here at Theotrade absolutely smokes it. A couple of us actually did work at TD. Let me uh, introduce you to the crew over here because, again, we're not a one-trick pony. We've got uh, seven full-time instructors here. Jeff Bierman, he's the analyst, trader, former chief market technician for TD Ameritrade. If you've ever been on the charts at TD Ameritrade, specifically Think or Swim, this is the man responsible for a lot of the charts at Think or Swim. Next, we have Matt Williamson. He's a market neutral premium selling option strategist. I actually met Matt. He was a client of, uh, of none other than TD Ameritrade. Next, we have uh, actually learned about Matt through uh, TD. Uh, Corey Rosenblum is the next one on the crew. Corey was actually on a, uh, a circuit going around doing some education that I did. We met many, many years ago, and he's now our senior strategist and resident swing trader here at Theotrade, Brandon Chapman. Uh, interesting story, Brandon Chapman, uh, CMT, 
Brandon is actually kind of our technicals, fundamentals, our fusion. But uh, the reason I know Brandon, he actually wrote a lot of the material at TD Ameritrade. Specifically, there was a course that was taught uh, by an education division of TD Ameritrade. They used to charge literally $24,000 for an 18-month program. Well, myself, Brandon, and a handful of others actually wrote that particular course. So Brandon obviously was was a very likely candidate when we uh, we actually got things going here at, uh, at Theo Trade. Next on the list, Steve Slim Miller, 43-year veteran stock options futures trader. I've known Steve uh, since I'm a kid. Again, I grew up around trading. Last but definitely not at least, our intraday strategist, none other than Tony Rago. So that's that's the crew here at uh, at Theo Trade. With that, more effort is needed. You know, one of the things I want to bring to your attention right up front is that no matter how many times I do a presentation like this in the evening, okay, everybody always assumes that this is going to be instant coffee and instant tea. They're always looking for, you know, follow the bouncing ball, I call it, okay? This course tonight, and I'm going to read this verbatim is not going to be some chart pattern or follow the bouncing ball with red and green flashing lights. Okay. People tune in all kinds of stuff. There's like an infomercial late at night. They're like, if, if three green lights, you're going to make money and it just prints it for you. And I can't stand that stuff. Listen, if you really want to learn this business, you got to be able to put forth some effort. And I hope that that's okay to say that because I got a lot of people that come tonight. They just like, you mean, you mean I'm going to have to learn something? Yeah, I'm, I'm not ready for that. Listen, you want to make money in this business, okay? It's not just the ATM. You're actually going to have to learn something, and more effort is always going to be needed. Is it okay that I bring that to your attention right up front? Because I want people to know right up front that anything is going to make you money, you're going to have to work for it. A little bit. You're going to have to work for it. That all right? Good. Next, low-risk market. So now, now we're actually going to jump into some very intricate details. I'm going to run through a lot here quickly. <clears throat> right now, I want you to think about volatility in the marketplace. By the way, it's funny. I asked those questions. I'm like, Did it, does anybody here want to learn anything? Dead silence in the chat room. I'm like, eh, maybe, maybe there's effort involved. I don't, I don't know. So I want you to think for a moment about volatility and volatility in the marketplace. Right. And some people don't really understand the term volatility. Right. And that that's OK. Some people think volatility is just movement. OK, that's fine. All right. That's kind of a secondary definition. But <clears throat> what do you think is risk right now in the market? Forget about the term volatility. Volatility is a term that Wall Street came up with to soften the blow. Like, well, sir, you, uh, you took a little bit of a hit in the portfolio. It's not our fault. It's, <clears throat> it's volatility. All right. Volatility is synonymous with risk. It is risk. What do you think volatility is right now? Seriously, they're not rhetorical questions. I call this vol limbo. How low can volatility go? Well, the Fed, the Fed's got you back. Ah, there he is, the man himself, Jerome Powell. In recent months, we have seen the risk in the markets abate. The risk in the markets has just completely dissipated just recently. Well, because the Fed, the Fed's got you back. Or do they? Central bankers are supporting markets, okay? And all shall be well. Let us not think about the International Monetary Fund, which is known as the IMF, having just downgraded world GDP. Now, put that aside for just a second, okay? By the way, I'm just poking some fun at the Fed here for a moment because the Fed, from December to basically January, did a complete about face, like reverse policy. We're going to raise interest rates. We're going to hammer, you know, the balance sheet couple days later, uh, hold on, we're getting a little out of control. Let's, let's, let's hold off on monetary policy completely. Let's actually freeze interest rates where they're at. And one of the interesting things is the Fed obviously knew something, okay? And the International Monetary Fund obviously knows something because they just downgraded world GDP. Here's the actual announcement. In fact, I like to make everything real world, like here, now, okay? Here's April 10th. Here's April 9th. Here's April 9th. They they cut the 2019 global growth outlook. And at the same time that they did that, did anybody see an impact in the markets? Hmm? I'm just kind of curious because if you look at right now, okay, we're, so we're at April 16th and you know what? The market's absolutely done nothing the last two weeks. Okay, we've ground a little bit higher, but we've basically done nothing in the last two weeks. And literally the IMF 
verbatim said all major economies, okay, and the most big emerging market economies are deteriorating. You're like, ah, I really, I really felt that deterioration in the markets. Now, why aren't the markets doing anything? Save Miss Central Banks. This is actually one of my favorite pictures that I found in uh, in some stock photos. <laughs> They're throwing them a loan raft, not a life raft, a loan raft, right? You know, it's a uh, it's a raft uh, of a loan to a drowning, looks like kind of business person in there, man, woman, or child, they're going down with the loan. That's why I kind of fully appreciate that. So save me, central banks, and please don't worry about Brexit. Don't worry about slowing global growth rates. And don't worry about the 2020 elections and trade wars and yield curve inversion. Yeah, by the way, there was also a yield curve inversion kind of late in March. We forgot about that. There's debt bubbles everywhere. There's corporate debt. Corporate debt is massive. Why? Because they're giving money away for free. Don't even get me started right now on what they're doing in Europe. And then stock buybacks. This is a big risk. You know what stock buybacks? They may actually change. The legislators may actually change the law on stock buybacks. By the way, the reason I bring all of this to your attention is for this next this next slide. <gasps> all of these risks and the VIX is in decline. How many of you? Okay. By the way, even if you're listening to this in a recording, okay. You can, again, they're not rhetorical questions. How many of you are familiar with the VIX? How many people are familiar with the VIX? It's okay. Yes. No. Maybe so. Right. <clears throat> So the VIX, I think, is probably the most over, over quoted number out there. But one of the things people is anybody here is anybody here not familiar with the VIX? I mean, we've we've got you know, almost a thousand people in there tonight. And when I said how many people are familiar with the VIX, there's so many like you know yeses. It's it's quite shocking. All I want to show you about the VIX, the VIX is the S&P 500 volatility index. And the VIX has been around, you know, since they really started calculating it. There's regression of calculations, but kind of in the mid 90s is when it became like in vogue. And it's the calculations changed a couple of times. But here's the VIX from late 2018. This is um, if you actually take a look at the chart and I'll get really specific in here. But uh, Christmas Eve. Okay, so you're actually looking at like the Christmas Eve time frame when it spiked up day after Christmas. Actually, it started coming down. But uh, from for most part from uh, the Boxing Day rally, Boxing Day is uh, the 26th of December to uh, to effectively. This is a screenshot taken uh, today. This is the fastest decline ever in the history okay, of the VIX. It is the single fastest decline at any other point in history of volatility, meaning that volatility. OK was massive. Why was volatility massive? I don't know. Name your fear. Uh, these were all the fears that were actually hitting it. Like, I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can take it. Now, why am I making some of these points? And, and again, biggest collapse in history. The VIX now is sitting literally at 12. Okay. We got a 12 VIX. Okay. All of this. Where am I going with it? First of all, not a bear. Now, I personally have a, I have a bias in markets. I'm allowed to have a bias in markets. I'm allowed to share that bias with you. I wasn't when I worked at a brokerage firm. Okay. There was a ton of stuff I couldn't share when I ran education at both Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade. I couldn't share a lot of stuff. I have a bias. My bias, okay, is lately, it's been very, very bearish, but I'm not here to display those risks because I'm bearish. Okay. I am not, okay, we are not attempting to position markets as bearish or create a bearish case. I don't need to do that. You do that yourself, okay? We're simply asserting that markets appear to be continually undervaluing, okay, and underappreciating future risks on both bullish and bearish sides of the market. Now that, you cannot disagree with that in any way, shape, or form. Okay. You can't disagree with this. Let me ask you something. Did you see December, December when the market absolutely tanked? Did you see that coming? Did you? No, neither did the marketplace. People were shocked. They're like, holy crap. The marketplace did a terrible, terrible job of pricing it. By the way, the most recent rally, have you seen the most recent rally? It's insane. I'm actually going to show you a picture of it here in just a second. But the point that I'm making over here isn't to try to turn you and be like, oh, yeah, I'm really, I'm really scared. You should be scared on both sides. You want to see something terrifying? That is terrifying. 
That is one of the most underappreciated and one of the most terrifying moves. A lot of people don't appreciate the fact that it's, it's a bullish move. This is the S&P since the beginning of the year. Look at it. It's up 16%. It's insane. And what you have to understand about this is actual market movements are outpacing implied volatility on both bullish and bearish moves. Okay. The SPY on a year to date basis is up 16% with a VIX at 12. That doesn't make sense. What I'm saying is simply this option markets. Now, some people get really nervous, like, oh, no, oh, no, he's talking about options. He said the O word. Don't panic. You don't have to know a lot about options to understand what I'm talking about right now. But option markets, and I'll just give you an example, okay? The option market, let's say, is pricing in a move on the entire year, okay? The option market is saying that we're supposed to move 12%. That's what the VIX at 12% means. So the market's supposed to move 12%. 12% of what? 12% the entire year. What's the market move thus far? 16%. How far into the year are we? Uh, we're just over one quarter. So wait, we're three months into the year. We've already moved 16% and the VIX says we can only move 12%. Yes. Do you think that there's a little bit of a, mm, I don't know, a discrepancy in there? Because there's not a lot of discrepancies in markets, but I see a big one. And I'm actually going to talk about that, okay, extensively. Just like hammer, hammer, hammer this. All right, let's continue on. Volatility equals risk. Volatility equals risk. Now, okay, option markets can be thought of as putting a price tag on risk. Now, this is the part I'm just going to do a little bit of an explanation for you. Now, pricing in markets is determined via market participants. Ultimately, option pricing, though, people go, it's the Black-Scholes model. Now, listen, Black-Scholes model... It's all well and good. That's describes the option pricing model. But in the end, in the end, it's all supply and demand. Okay. It's what somebody's willing to pay for it. Like, think about this. If everybody in the world right now wants to buy options, if you want to buy options, option prices are going to go where? You tell me. If everybody in the world right now wants to buy options, option prices go where? They go up, right? Yeah, it's pretty quiet in here. Okay. They go up. Higher risk equates to higher option pricing. Now, if everybody in the world right now, if everybody goes out and they start selling options, okay, like there's no tomorrow, yeah, well, that would actually take the risk down and lower lower risk equates to lower options pricing. Well, we have a little bit of a uh, of an issue. We got we got some splaining to do, okay, because of all of the central bank capital that's out there. It is squeezing the life out of volatility. This is unequivocal. It is squeezing the life. It is choking volatility. I want you to think about that for a second because it's suppressing it and suppressing it. It's like putting volatility under a blanket and trying to hold it down because there's so much capital chasing the market and chasing the market. Now, what happens when you suppress something for a tremendous amount of time? Hmm? Anyone, okay? That's it's pretty quiet out there. You suppress something long enough, okay? It'll blow up on you. And that's just unequivocal. I want you to think about, okay, what has risk, the volatility been just lately in markets? Now, you know, somebody could be watching this webcast a year from now. Maybe volatility is really high. But right now, here we are, you know, in, in April of 2019, volatility is dead. Absolutely dead. And we're actually in right now what I call the options conundrum. Option markets over the past few years have done an absolutely poor job of handicapping risk in the future. They're doing a terrible, terrible job. Okay. And on a day to day basis, risk is perfect. Everything is perfect on a day to day basis. But when you look out on the horizon, they're doing a terrible job of pricing risk. To be specific, option volatility has been incredibly, incredibly low. Okay. And yet, are you aware? Okay. That, that again, volatility has been just incredibly low. And we have sustained some of the single greatest moves ever recorded in the history of the markets. And you go, really? Some, where's the biggest move you ever saw in the marketplace? 
uh, December. Do you know how many records were hit in December? Everybody kind of wiped December under the rug. They're like, it never happened. I didn't see it because we rallied back up, right? It didn't happen. I didn't panic. I only threw up once. It was on Christmas Eve. It was all right. You know, the family was there. It was good. But people kind of sweep that under the rug. It was some of the single greatest moves ever recorded. And nobody is even talking about them. I mean, back in like October, October of 2018, the markets were rocking back and forth. You're like, here it comes. And the volatility was still low. If you, if you want to gain edge in the markets, well, here it is. Okay. This is how we're going to gain edge in the markets. We're going to look at what we term. Okay. We're going to look at what we term the options conundrum. Okay. And we're going to use the fact that options have been doing a very poor job of handicapping future risk. And we're going to take advantage of it. And that's how we're actually going to gain some edge. How are we going to do it? We're going to position you and your portfolio for a big move. Now, portfolio, it doesn't mean that you have to have any positions on. Okay. Let's just get what I call down and dirty. How do you position yourself most effectively for the possibility of extreme movements? Okay. Without exposing yourself, though, to drastic risks. You tell me, does anybody have any ideas? How do you expose yourself, okay, to like, there's going to be a huge move in markets, but you don't know when, and you don't know where, and you don't know how. <laughs> Meaning that you know that moves are going to happen. Why? Think about all the risks on the horizon. Come on. Think about all the risks on the horizon. Just don't get cute with this, though. It's serious, okay? You're going to expose yourself to, to these massive movements, okay? Now, I'm actually going to show you before, okay? Before I show you the actual position, I'm going to show you something that, I'll tell you what, I had a long conversation with some of the people that work here at Theotrade. And they said, you know, they said, Don, this, this is pretty much, you know, your bread and butter. And I said, what do, what do you mean? They said, as long as I've known you, you trade, okay, events. You're, you know, one of the biggest event-driven traders that I've ever met. Why aren't we talking about that, okay? And I go, well, I'll talk about it. I talk about big events all the time. There was a big event in December. Before that, there was the volatility event that happened back in February. Before that, you know, and, and did extremely well in those. But they took me a step further. They said, no, 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 no. Why don't you actually display, okay? The events first allow me to display a number of key events surrounding the last few years whereby markets and volatility okay did not effectively price risk what i'm going to show you right now is very very simple okay i'm actually going to show you my trades my portfolio and i'm actually going to show you very specific key events surrounding volatility it is going to be a few years why am i showing you a few years because you don't have to be here every single day you only have to be here okay when these volatility events actually happen Volatility events pretty much have made my entire career. And on basically what I'm going to show you is on one hand, these volatility events were absolutely phenomenal. Now, these are not just markets tanking. They're also markets rallying. And you need to know that. Okay. So thereafter, I'm actually going to display the strategy that I use to create some of the opportunities. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. This is the first time that anybody has ever seen uh, my portfolio ever. Okay. Since... 19 years of me, you know, 15 years of me at a brokerage firm before that at a trading firm, never actually showed my own trade data. This is the China Yuan devaluation of August in 2015. Okay. One of the larger volatility events. What I wanted to display here, the Yuan, Chinese Yuan was actually devalued and it actually caused a ripple effect. So <clears throat> what I had on was volatility was just dead low. It was just dead low. Okay. Anytime volatility is dead low, I'm using trades. Okay. Um, I'm using trades to take advantage and harness the power if volatility is going to explode. Now, I always have, always have, when volatility is low, a trade on that if volatility explodes, that I'm going to make money on it. Okay. And I'm going to start with that. So here's volatility tripled in three days. Ready? Okay. This is actually the portfolio. I know that this is really, really small, but I'm sorry. I did a crap load of trades this day, okay? So to get really specific, here it is. If you look very carefully, this is August 24th and August 25th of 2015. I'm, I told you, I'm going to specific days, specific, specific stuff, okay? Uh, that day, I had 16 orders, 16 fills. 
profit and loss of the day, it's right there. It's seventeen thousand three hundred ninety-nine dollars. Okay, this was actually a uh, a type of spread that I'm going to show you here hmm, a little bit later. A little bit later. I'm just showing you again. By the way, I was actually using I was using this type of spread to also hedge off. I still had some TD Ameritrade stock at the time. Not that much. I only lost about a thousand bucks in TD Ameritrade, but net net ended up seventeen thousand dollars on the day. So that's the Chinese yuan devaluation of 2015. How many people remember it? <clears throat> How many people traded through it? Seriously. Okay. How many people traded through this and how'd you do? For those of you that don't remember it, the market locked up. We went limit down at the cash open. It was insane. It was a Monday morning. They locked them up. That was actually my first year, first year outside of the, uh, of the brokerage firm. Um, literally 2015, I, I left I left TD Ameritrade in February of 2015. By the way, I can show you no, I can't show you positions. I cannot show you positions during my tenure at a brokerage firm. I'm showing you positions. Listen, I left there in February of 2015. This is August of 2015. That's P&L in the day, every single position that I currently had on at that point in time. By the way, other interesting part of this, I had zero futures trades, okay, at that point in time. Zero futures trades on that particular day. So that was my P&L for the day. All right. You guys ready to move on? All right. Oh, a couple of people. I, I didn't do that well that day. All right. Hopefully everybody can see this. Next. This is the taper tantrum of 2016. Now, this was a long lasting event. This is when the Fed started talking. This is when the Fed started talking about eventually tapering the balance sheet. Okay. All I want to bring to your attention here, that's the end of 2015. Okay. Right into, uh, again, Right in this neighborhood here. This is some pretty wild volatility. It's the last time, you know, one of the last times the market tanked uh, huge. Anyway, the S&Ps were at uh, 200. They went all the way down to 180. All right. Volatility in that time frame didn't get too crazy. It was low, though. Now, what did I tell you a moment ago? Anytime volatility is low, what do I do? Anytime volatility is low, what do I do? Hmm? Who, uh, who was actually paying attention? Okay. Dead silence in here. Anytime volatility is low, what am I doing? Okay. I get long in volatility, but I'm going to show you a way to do it without having to take, you know, you're not going to have to take like an aggressive stance in here. The taper tantrum of 2016, it lasted a while. It was absolutely phenomenal. This volatility was bouncing around. How phenomenal. This is actually the positions at that time. Okay. Um, I didn't have a whole lot on. By the way, this is a... Okay. From the beginning of the year, this is exactly a two month window. I just, I, I elected to show you just the, uh, that two months. Why did I show you that two months? Apparently, by the way, I, I didn't do very well in oil. This is actually a year to date profit and loss. So I'm showing a year to date profit and loss. Um, this account at the time, okay. I started the year with about $330,000 in the account. And in two months we were up, um, just about a hundred thousand just a little over a hundred thousand dollars in that time frame and you can see specifically where the PL was actually coming from it some nasdaq positions on a couple of e-mini futures on over here a uh, huge position on in charles schwab let's not talk about that um a huge position on inside of the financials okay lost a bunch of money in td ameritrade over here i don't mind showing you again it's the first time i've ever actually displayed positions my volatility in this particular case I was actually in a volatility stance inside of Charles Schwab and inside of the financials. And I hit a home run on the position. I also hit a home run in terms of a Costco, a similar position inside of Costco. Nevertheless, it equated to about $100,000 in a very short period of time. So it's just two events. Anybody remember this one? Okay. And everybody's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't worry about it. I'll, uh, I'm actually going to get exactly to the, uh, to the positions themselves. Okay. Everybody remember this one. Okay, so this was the beginning of 2016. 2016 was a fun time because here's the Brexit vote. Now, the Brexit vote, that was fast. That was furious. Not much to say about this. It was a precipitous drop, okay, followed by a wicked rally. Uh, I caught it on the Brexit day, okay? Here's actually just P&L in the day. It was up $25,000 from Brexit. By the way, there is the actual day. It was uh, June 23rd and through the 24th. And I was whacking positions like a madman uh, that day. You know what? Ironically, 16 orders, 16 fills here as well. <laughs> and the last time there was volatility were like 16 orders, 16 fills. Actually, if you look back at the previous period, all right, previous period, uh, I had 201 fills in two months. 
That's pretty active. I mean, I was active. I don't mind telling you that. Okay. You want to make a hundred thousand dollars in two months. My guess is you're going to want to be active too. This is one day in 2016. And I was up uh, $25,000 in the day. 2016 is a pretty memorable year. I mean, we were killing it in 2016. Why? Well, the next event was 2016, the presidential election. Presidential election. Here's the irony of the presidential election. I know what you're thinking. We tanked. Yeah, well, guess what? I, uh, I was positioned for the tankage, but I was also positioned for the rally. Here's the uh, positions themselves. All right. What we're going to start to talk about here in the presidential elections, okay? These happen to be, okay, forms, again, forms of what we call a ratio. There's a strategy we're going to talk about here momentarily. It's called an infinity spread, and this is part of it, okay? This is only part of the spread. Just to show you, I put the trades on for a credit and close them for a massive credit, okay? These are very specific positions. Now, this happens to be effectively surrounding, again, surrounding the election. The options that I'm using here are a little funky. This is actually options on futures, but... Um, for those of you, if you've been around a while, probably saw me do this. Anyway, these particular trades, okay, were called infinity spreads. And you're actually going to see the other portion of this. This one's done for a 70 cent credit, okay, was actually closed on, what, November 11th, 2016 for a $30 credit. And the interesting thing is markets, everybody's like, they're tanking, they're going down, okay. And uh, at the exact same time, the markets were going down. This, this is not right. This is not right. And we put on, uh, again, these infinity spreads, and it was absolutely huge. I mean, 70 cent credit to make a $30 credit, okay, it is a bullish strategy. And I want to reiterate that it's a bullish strategy. So now we're actually looking at the tank, you know, the market tanking, and you're like, wait, you had a bullish strategy on? Absolutely. I mean, this was a gap filled wonderland. It was an absolute gap filled wonderland, the presidential election of 2016. And again, I'm starting now to get into some of the specifics of the trade, okay, and what we're now actually terming the infinity spread. Next, the fall of cost, January and February of 2018. You remember this? Because it's just over a year ago, okay? This was actually dubbed by the trading community the fall of cost. Volatility was at 12% prior, okay, to the single largest volatility percentage moves ever recorded in history. Do you realize this is, okay, this is one of the fastest ascents of the VIX ever. And then, okay, what, just a few months later, we have the fastest descent of the VIX ever. How many people in here can honestly say like, oh, yeah, I was doing really great during that period of time. They weren't because they don't know how to trade this stuff. Okay. What did we do during what we termed the Volocost of 2018? This was one of the largest home runs we've ever had on a single position. Okay. Now, some of you may actually recognize this. It's a portion of a position that I've actually talked about previously, okay? Here's the actual spread. In this case, I paid $1.37 for a spread, and I did that in early January. Now, remember, early January. Did I know that volatility was gonna spike in early January? No, okay? In fact, the exact day that I put the trade on was right here, okay? I put the trade on right there on what? January 8th, okay? There it is. I apologize. It's January 17th. I apologize. Okay. January 17th. Again, knowing nothing. Here's the 17th right there. Now paid $1.37. Almost what? Three weeks later, I'm closing it for a $10 and 58 cent credit. An absolute, again, crack that one out of the park. Here's the fed fueled selling in late 2018. All I'm trying to do right now, okay, is to show you, number one, the types of spreads I'm using. This is not that complicated, okay? And a few major events to prove the point. Number one, markets are doing a hideous job of pricing risk, okay? Check this out. This is the Fed fueled selling in late 2018. Is it fresh in everybody's mind? Because it should be, because it was right here, all right? This is where we are today. I mean, we're talking a couple of months ago, all right? And I wasn't even heavily involved here in the December time frame. The December time frame, I was killing it back here, okay? Volatility was at 11% prior to the market's tanking. The risk was massive and the opportunity was absolutely spectacular. What kind of a trade did I have on? Same animal, different day. This one wasn't as big as the volatility holocaust out there, but I mean, listen, there's what, $1.20? And this is a 6.59 credit. 
Okay, that's two. That's two volatility explosions in a given year. By the way, I'm telling you, all right, these opportunities were huge and they just keep coming and they keep coming. And I'm going to reiterate something here for a moment. Where's volatility right now? In the overall market, you tell me, where's volatility right now? It's absolutely dirt cheap. Okay, what are you doing right now? Because again, I can I can bring back up that chart. Where's volatility right now? Okay, this screenshot was taken today. It's 12%. What are you doing? What are you doing right now when volatility is low? I'm not telling you the market's going to tank. Quite the contrary. I'm telling you, you could take the opposite sides of it. Now, the mother of all events. You want to see the mother of all events? I told you something. I cannot show you trades when I was at the brokerage firm. The mother of all events was the financial crisis trade. The financial crisis trade netted multiple million dollars. Okay. And it, people always ask this and they're always egging me on about it. They're like, so yeah, you made a couple of million. Listen, we did really, really well in the financial crisis. I didn't like to talk about it until much more recently. This is one of the conversations we're having internally here at Theotrade. People don't like to hear about this stuff in the financial crisis. I worked in the brokerage industry. Okay. At the same time we were trading, come on, you could see as clear as day, we were absolutely going to tank. All right. So after the financial crisis, we had again, some massive infinity type spreads on and it paid out extremely, extremely well. So that's what I ended up purchasing with, uh, by the way, I didn't buy uh, financial crisis obviously happened in 2008, 2009. Uh, I didn't buy anything until July of 2010. So um, the, uh, the financial crisis trade led to the purchase of my home, which ultimately led to a whole lot of kids and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, we still live there. But um, this is actually two of the best trades because the financial crisis made a few million dollars in and then, uh, of course, uh, bought a house for about $1.3 million, which is now apparently, uh, according to Zillow, worth uh, $2.66 million. But I'm kind of bummed. I'm down about $42,000 in the last 30 years days. By the way, if people always ask this, like, what is a, what is a $3 million or $2.5 million house look like? Look, something like this, right? I, everybody asked that question. So, uh, that's, that's it. It is an indoor basketball court. Next. I threw it out there. Everybody wanted to see it. I've had this question for literally for years. So there it is. The future is bright and it's full of risks. All the types of trades that I just talked about, I'm actually going to show you what they are. Okay. We are not suggesting that we can time these wild moves in the markets. I don't want you to think that I can time moves in the markets. Okay. Nobody can see the future. Not even the election, the election, everybody's like, we're going to tank. And then we exploded higher. We are, however, suggesting having placed the correct option based strategies. It would make all the difference. All right. You don't have a crystal ball. You're not going to do that. Okay. And again, nobody's going to see the future. There's no software that can do it. This marketplace is way too efficient. Okay. There's, you're just, you're two trades. You are two trades away. Okay. From this. Now, this is something that I've actually brought it up in, okay. Theo trade. I brought it up on some evening videos, but now, okay. We're actually showing, if you will, this is like the full Monty. What are you actually looking at in terms of a risk graph? And this is going to take some explanation for just a moment. Okay. We've actually married two different types of positions together and the two different types of positions create, okay, like a volatility basket. But the irony of we both have both downside potential and amazing upside potential as well. The key to this strategy, by the way, these, okay, our positions, I, I don't mind showing you, this is what it costs. This is a credit net net. You'd pay a buck 38 for this entire position. Let fly. And after I just said that, but I'm also going to counter with this, you know, don't run out. Okay. To place the spread, unless you know precisely how to get into it, precisely how to get out of it. Every nuance, what should I pay for it? Are the strikes, right? What do I do? When do I get out? How much, I mean, I can go on and on and on. There's a lot of variables to this. What expiration cycles do I use? Should I use May? Should I use June? Should I use weeklies? Okay, there's a July and a May over here. I'm so confused. There's both calls and puts. This looks like a lot, okay? But the first thing I want you to, to know about this, okay, and the type of spread I'm doing below, 
This doesn't have to be placed very often. Okay, there's going to be specific, very definitive times. We're going to put these trades on. Okay, then what do we do? We sit back. This is going to be one of the most hands off positions. Okay, now I've actually taught before about half of this position. Now we're actually adding the other side. Okay, and this is what it really comes down to. It again, it's what we kind of term the infinity spread. And we call it that because, well, obviously an amazing upside, okay, an incredible downside potential. Now, the risks, the risks that are in here, we also teach how to mitigate any of the real, like, and heavy risk of this particular spread. There are, there's so much you could do with this trade. By the way, this particular position that I'm highlighting right here, this is done in the spiders, okay? But we can even detail this in a number of different products. And I want to show you something about this particular trade. First, you know, people are already asking, can I do it in an IRA? Of course, you can do it in an IRA, right? Okay. It's, again, this is a very twisted version. Somebody was saying, you know, uh, the risk twist, by the way, the RTS, it's only half of the position. Literally, it's only half. This is part of a risk twist, okay? Now, when you start putting the infinity spread on, yes, you could do it in an IRA. Yes, you could do this to mitigate the risk of a portfolio, but I want you to think about the market right now. Where are we right now? Here we are, okay? Took this screenshot, all right, there today. That's where we are right now, okay? Is there upside potential? You better believe it. There's huge upside potential. There's a little bit of downside risk. But what could happen right now? The market could have an absolute blow off top. We could just head to the moon, okay? There's only one contract, one contract, okay? There's nobody in, okay, tonight's presentation that can't handle a one by two or a one by three by one, nobody. That's one contract. Do you realize one contract with a rip to the upside, okay? can actually yield you, look at this, that's a thousand bucks with a one lot, all right? If the market were to tank, if the market were to tank, take a look at some of the downside potential. Let's say the market heads, let's get crazy, heads all the way to 250. Let me ask you something. Can the S&Ps, can the spiders go to 250 between now and like July expiration? Can they? Can the spiders go to 250 between now and expiration? I think so. You want to know why? Because back in December, they were 230. They were 230. You're telling me they can't go to 250? Of course they can go to 250. That's almost $2,000 of P&L, okay? We are now taking a position that is looking at both sides of the marketplace. We pop to the upside, fantastic. We explode to the downside, fantastic. What happens here in the middle? What happens here in the middle, okay? This can be your everyday trading. Okay, I mean, listen, you want to sell some premium, you want to do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight, you go for it, okay? But you got to realize what this strategy can do for you. You might be putting on positions and you need to protect the upside or you need to protect the downside. And I'll tell you what, you got it, okay? You got it. You actually have upside protection and downside protection on here, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I have highlighted the downside of this. I have highlighted the downside of this, but I had so many emails, so many questions like, what did you do for the upside? Like, and somebody literally asked me during the elections, what did you do when the market exploded to the upside? I'll tell you exactly what I did. Okay. I had this spread on. Literally, I had this spread on. We didn't have a name for it. We didn't call it an infinity spread back then. It took us a long time to actually come up and be like, this crap actually works. Okay. And it works and it's, and it's continually worked. And we've had these kinds of trades on time and time and time again. Well, it's finally time that we sit down and actually show people specifically what we have on. Here's some of the opportunities right now. There's a bullish case and a bearish case. Here's the bullish case. We have a blow off top. You know what a blow off top is? I'll tell you what a blow off top is. That's exploding to the upside. It's very likely that at some point we could very well have a blow off top. I can't tell you definitively. The Fed could turn around and cut rates this year. They cut rates, markets are going to explode. China can start to recover. The ECB into negative rate territory. Brexit voted out and ruled out, right? They're going to do another Brexit vote, it looks like. Ah, it gets ruled out. Markets rally. End to several trade wars. Trade wars are everything. Let's just end them. It's a pretty huge bullish case. But me, I'm ever the bear. I love being a bear. China growth stalls. Awesome. It's happening. Hard Brexit. Oh, I want to see the EU just be like, you're out. You're out of the contest. Slowing global growth rates. Trade wars ignite. Yield curve inversion returns with a vengeance. Deflationary events. Puh, we're there, baby. Okay. Debt bubbles are everywhere. The Fed 
actually pushes the accelerator and raises rates. Here's my favorite one. Stock buybacks are ended. Yeah, they're talking about that right now. These, okay, these are the things that you face as opportunities right now. And I'm telling you, that's the spread that you want on. Take advantage of it, okay? It's the end-all, be-all where you get to sit back and you get to play with day-to-day -day trades. But knowing that you have an infinity spread on, okay, you got to know how many contracts to do can really help mitigate a huge amount of that risk. Here's some of the characteristics of infinity spreads. They increase in value when exposed to heavy volatility. They increase in value when markets sell off or rally huge. I mean, think about that. Significant profit potential for an upside move, or significant profit potential for a downside move, okay? Loses minimal capital if the markets continue to drift or remain flat. By the way, that can happen. Let's just say like, oh, Don, nothing happens. Nothing happened. It's okay. You're going to lose minimal capital. They only need to be placed a few times a year. This is a perfect spread to reduce risk of a stock portfolio, long or short. I have shorts on right now, okay? I have shorts, meaning that, yeah, a lot of positions I want the market to go down. Guess what? I need this thing, okay? I need it. I need the upside hedge, okay? It could be done in a retirement account. It's an excellent tool for those seeking large returns, okay, on a big market event. What you got to know, though, is beyond just looking at this. You got to know how to build the infinity spread. And first and foremost, do not let options intimidate you. Everybody looks at this, like, I got to trade options, all right? There's two different types of spreads in here, okay? The spread below is being done for a $1.38 debit. However, this is akin to the absolute massive, massive chainsaw. And when I say that, I'm just using an analogy. You know, if you wanted to go out and you wanted to cut down a tree, you could actually use a handsaw and try to cut down some gigantic tree. It'd be taking you forever and probably break the saw, okay? If you wanted to cut down a tree, you're probably going to use a chainsaw. It's going to be what? It's going to be quick, going to be clean, going to be great. But if you've never cut down a tree, and I'm serious, if you've never cut down a tree in your life and use a chainsaw, it's a pretty good chance you're going to die. Not because the chainsaw, because the tree is actually going to smack you in the head and kill you. It happens all the time, okay? This kind of trade is the exact same thing. Used correctly could be the quickest, the fastest, the safest, the easiest way to get where you want to go in the market. Used incorrectly, okay, you're going to get crushed by it. You have got to understand. I'm telling you, of all the trades that we construct, the infinity spread, you've got to understand the nuances, okay? You can't mess this up. I don't want you to cut off fingers, all right? This is what you need to know to successfully create infinite possible returns with minimal risk. This is what you need to know to trade infinity spreads. When and where do I place these trades, these infinity spreads? Like what and when am I doing it? Okay. How often should I place these, these infinity spreads and do they need to be continually monitored? Okay. How do I set up these trades and what's the correct, you know, market volatility to place the trades within? Do I need a large amount of capital in my account to do this? I'll give you that one. The answer is absolutely not. You have to have by rule, you have to have $2,000 in the account, but you don't need any more than that. They're not going to tie up a tremendous amount of capital. What underlying stocks or indices make the best candidates for the infinity spreads? How do I know, okay, when to get in and when to get out? What are the percentage returns supposed to be? Like, if you're going to make some money on this, how do you know when to get out, okay? Can I do this in an IRA or retirement account? Of course you can. And I reiterated that one a number of times. How do I size trades for my account? Like, again, if you have $200,000 and you're trying to hedge your position, which is reduce risk in it, how do you size it, okay? What is the right amount of risk for me? All of this, you have to know. And it just goes on and on and on. And that's what actually what we do here at TheoTrade. It's criteria. It's what we do. We build, okay? We build recipes to answer these questions. You're going to find out if you've been in this business long enough that trading, it's all about answering the what ifs. You know, what's a good, you know, what's a good candidate for an infinity spread? Correct options expiration cycle. By the way, the options expiration cycle, I'll remind you, there were two different expiration cycles. How much capital do you commit? When do I execute? Should I execute? Which strike price options do I buy? Which options do I sell? We have the answer. What we do here at TheoTrade, we build recipes with definitive criteria. What definitive criteria is, says step one, this is what you do. Step two, this is what you do. Step three, it's a recipe, a checklist for each strategy in each unique variable you're going to encounter. It's the how, it's the when, it's the why, it's at what price. Come on, it's just the beginning, though, of the variables that you're going to face while trading infinity spreads. And the secret, it is in the sauce. You know, everybody looks at this and they go, I'm, I'm going to read about this, okay? You could read about it all you want, okay? Infinity spreads, again, that name 
is specific. That name is Theo Trade. Okay, that's it's synonymous with the types of trades that I've been putting on for years. But this strategy and, and the corresponding criteria, that's I say you can Google. You can Google this right now and be like, hey, I'm gonna read about this. I'm gonna go Google what an infinity spread is, and you know, it's, it looks like a type of a ratio, this and that and the other thing. Okay, but you're never gonna find. You're never going to find the criteria because we spent years fine tuning the trade setup, the criteria, the approach. Why do you think I just went back and actually showed you all the different trades from 2015 to 2016, okay, to, to some of the trades that we did more recently in 2018? It's trades, it's trades, it's trades, it's trades, it's millions of dollars, okay, that I have actually gone through to help create all the steps to actually build the criteria, okay? Here's how you can trade infinity spreads with a formula. We'll walk you through it. A little bit about, here's what our clientele are saying. Now, again, these infinity spreads are brand new, okay? But I want you to look at this. This is the second time, okay, I've been to Don's service. It took a while to sink in, but in out spreads, okay, saving my beep, now along, okay, doing them everywhere when they fit, okay, and also using the risk twist trade on both my accounts. Okay. It is embarrassing to think of the tens of thousands I spent on option info and classes. Don's class is the greatest. It's from Gary M. The other one over here is Don. I closed the TLT risk twist spread. Now, again, why is this the risk twist spread? That's part of an infinity spread. I closed it for 127% game. Okay. Price was moving around so fast. I ended up doing a market order, which is totally brutal. I hate hearing that. Pretty excited to see the whole risk twist trade cycle and how well it worked. That's from Vicky W. Here is the infinity spread workshop curriculum. Workshop curriculum. We're going to do a class. We're doing a class on the infinity spread. Okay. The first step is this, how to construct an infinity spread for maximum returns and minimal risk. How to build your own infinity spreads in a stock index ETF with detailed step-by-step -step entry and exit criteria. We're actually going to show you from beginning to end how to build these things. How to build infinity spreads with your bullish, bearish, or neutral. How to hedge your portfolio using okay volatility sensitive again infinity spreads when to open and when is the best time to close these spreads the tools and strategies for analyzing market conditions we're going to talk about volatility it's tools and strategies okay for analyzing market conditions how to create trades based on movement and volatility not purely direction of the market and how you can generate big returns in a small account retirement account minimal risk and minimal options experience. I don't want anybody to think they have to be like, you know, the option guru. Is there a learning curve? I started with that tonight. It's why I started with that tonight. I said, you got to put forth a little effort, anything worth, anything worth doing in this life. You got to be worth, you know, putting forth some effort. Which strikes, what expiration period, okay? The best candidates and why infinity spreads are perfect for part-time traders. That's one of the things I want to stress. We're putting together a course, a class, a workshop, specifically for more part-time traders. Trading, it doesn't mean you have to be glued to your screen all day. If you want to be glued to the screen, it's fine. Be glued to the screen, okay? But we're putting this together, again, specifically for individuals. Again, specifically for individuals that, again, want to sit back. They don't necessarily, again, don't necessarily want to be involved in every single nuance, in every single nuance of every single trading day. Okay. And I kiss, I cannot, again, I cannot stress enough that going through this, all right, you are going to learn not just a tremendous amount about infinity spreads, okay, but how the market works, how to actually get your hands in there, okay, put on spreads that when volatility explodes, either higher or lower, be incredibly, incredibly effective. Here's a little bit about these infinity spreads, infinity spreads. We are going to do a live class now, okay? The live class is Saturday, April 27th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The course slide deck that includes all the entry and exit criteria, the checklist, it will be available. I apologize. That date is incorrect, okay? It'll be available that morning <laughs> as I'm showing you this. April 27th, okay? And as I'm actually showing it to you, I'm uh, correcting my own date on here. I will only release, okay? I will only release this at the time of the class, April 27th, okay, for download. The course, okay, is archived immediately. Again, the course is archived immediately. 
you can download the course, okay? You can download the course and review it anytime after April 27th. So on or after April 27th, you can download it on Theotrade Mobile, okay? For iOS and Android as well. So by all means, yes, you can download the course, right? It's $297, okay? However, the class also qualifies you for reduced commission rate. I see my screen flashing a little bit over here. I messed it all up, okay? I messed it all up with my little typo over there. Now, again, that course, it's archived immediately. The class is live, live April 27th. As I said a moment ago, if you cannot make that class live, it's recorded and it's recorded and it will be available to you immediately, okay? Like seconds, seconds after. So please, again, understand that course available immediately and directly afterwards. You can basically, after we're done, you've got it immediately for download. And everybody that comes out and they're listening to this, they always think to themselves, uh, well, first of all, how many of you, how many of you have actually been to other courses before? Anywhere. I think it's a fair question because everybody that comes here, they're like, ah, I've been there. I've done that. And I always tell this to people, but many of you tuning in, you've been through the gauntlet of paid classes. You've been through indicators. You've been through, you know, what I call secret squirrel black boxes and stuff. Obviously, you guys know that I didn't talk a lot about charts tonight, red and green flashing arrows and stuff, because quite frankly, that's not where the edge is today. That's not where the edge is. The edge is right now. Okay. The edge is knowing how to harness. Okay, what's going to be explosions of volatility and markets either reading higher or lower? Okay, I'll tell you right now, a year from now, we ain't going to be where we are right now. Yet people, okay, they take all these classes only to find, just buy one more last thing. It'll, it'll make all the difference. But wait, there's more. You know, at Theotrade, we just, building Theotrade, we just had enough with the educational garbage sales pitches and we want to try to put an end to it. And what we do in order to do that trying to disrupt financial education. In fact, we are disrupting financial education, okay? Theotrade is built by professional traders. Everybody here has a minimum of 15 years of experience. There's no professional salespeople. Nobody here at Theotrade ever sold a course prior to coming to Theotrade. Educating you, it's our only goal, and we're going to demonstrate that. And hopefully, we change the way that you, you view education because we introduce to you, okay, Total Theo, unlimited streaming. What does that include? It includes access to over 82 trading classes. All of them are available immediately on demand, okay, or on Theotrade Mobile. It will also, okay, include, all right, right here, infinity spreads. It is a $297 class taught live April 27th. We also have another class in here, the next big short, the high probability trading in out spreads, okay, the guide to selling high probability spreads. Iron Condor, Selling Premium Minimizing Risk, Survive and Thrive in Extreme Volatility, Day Trading NASDAQ Futures, Covered Calls, Essential Skills for Consistency in Trading, the Top 10 Skills for Growing Small Account, Paris Trading. There's a ton more. There are 82, 82 classes right now in our archive. You want access to all of them? You got it. Because that's the only way we do it. We do not sell anymore just an individual class. Now, yeah, you're coming to Theotrade because you want to learn infinity spreads. You're coming to Theotrade because you want to learn infinity spreads, but you get everything else. There's access to over $5,000 in classes alone. It's insane. There's that literally access and you're like, it's a little overwhelming. I, I get it. You want to be overwhelmed or underwhelmed? You decide, okay? If you want to be overwhelmed, this is the place for you. You don't have to be. You can pick and choose. This is like Netflix of trading. You pick and choose what you want to see. By the way, we're not just about classes. It's not just about five grand in classes. We also have, okay? access to over 59 proprietary indicators and scans, right? We have auto expected move, S&P gravity points, RSI Laguerre, Quantix, NQ levels, next generation squeeze indicator, complex position tracker, IV rank versus percentile, Theo quant trade setup, unusual put options activities, sizzle index, okay? It goes on and on, SPX expected move. This is where like a lot of other firms are like, no, I'm gonna charge you for this, no, I'm gonna charge you for this. We give you, okay? We give you 82 classes, we give you 59 proprietary indicators. It's $1,800 in indicators and scans. I'm not done, okay? We give you coaching, live trades, and email trade ideas. Live trading. We're broadcasting six hours per day. I'll tell you what. You sign up tonight. You hop in there tomorrow morning. I'm going to broadcast tomorrow morning. It's Wednesday. I'm broadcasting, okay? 90 minutes tomorrow morning. I'm coming on myself. I got a good coaching session for tomorrow too. 
We broadcast real-time trade ideas, real-time market insights and analysis, email trade ideas, and we will surely highlight and trade infinity spreads. There's four distinct trading portfolios, daily coaching sessions. Tomorrow, we're actually going to be talking about trade execution order types. And our instructors directly answer your trading questions via email. Just so everybody knows, you know, we ain't new with this, okay? I've been in this business since 98. Right now, we have over 3,500, 3,500, okay, clients accessing TheoTrade. By the way, coaching, live trades, email trade ideas, this is access to over $2,000 support trades and insight, okay? It's a total of $8,800 in classes, in live trading, in coaching sessions, and proprietary tools. You get the Infinity class, April 27th. You get over 82 classes. There's new monthly classes. There's live trading chat room. I know you can't make it. We archive everything. Okay. We also give you access to email trade ideas, trading indicators, daily coaching sessions, email support. You can email us and say, am I doing this right? And we have mobile applications. Why do we have mobile applications? I don't know. Maybe you're not going to be on your computer. Maybe you're flying around. You can literally download the stuff on TheoTrade Mobile. All of it. Okay. It's all part of it. Here's the special for today. Unlimited streaming, it's $297. Theotrade.com forward slash T, that's Tom Tom Sam. Theotrade.com forward slash Tom Tom Sam. One of the first things somebody just said, okay, is that a yearly fee? It is a three month full access. Listen, the types of trades we're doing with infinity spreads, you need access for some time. You need to see the full Monty of this trade. I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna close it, okay? You need to see all of that. We don't give anybody a choice. You're going for three months. It's $297. Well, think like it's worth it. It's going to take you three months to go through. You know, you're not going to get through what? 82 classes? Don't even try. Okay? Take a little time. Go through the archive. There's nothing in this entire industry right now. And I will put my money where my mouth is. There is nothing in this entire industry, okay, that can hold any type of a light to what we offer here at TheoTrade. I don't care if you go out and you spend $50,000 and hire a monkey to sit next to you. It ain't going to compare to what we have at TheoTrade because we're not one person. We are seven full-time traders, okay? You know, Jeff Beer, again, the guy basically wrote the book. He's a professor at Loyola on the side and works here at TheoTrade, okay? He's literally a professor of finance teaching, all right, courses. These guys know what they're doing. Right? It is bar none, the best education you're ever going to get. It's 297 bucks for three months. Why do you think we have 3,500 members? Again, it's theotrade.com forward slash Tom Tom Sam. Now, what our clientele are saying. This is thank you, Don, for the VVS. Have lost money in the market was pointed okay, to you to learn about risk. You explain risk the way it should be taught. You know, Keep teaching about risk. Set up a VVS spread in late December. October, market started downward trend, okay? Fear did not exist. Was covered by your VVS, made $5,600, all right? It's Marianne D. This one over here happens to be one of the favorite emails I've ever gotten. You kind of have to read it. I, By the way, I left it literally in its format. You have to kind of read it, all right? The way it was, well, intended to read. By the way, I answer emails. You can see this is me, but uh, I had visions of sugar plums, okay? with a max profit potential of $26,000. But I'll take $14,000 with a few days prior to expiration, okay? Then I actually got assigned that particular ticket and I was like, no, this is really huge return for an RTS spread. And he goes, yeah, thank you for the suggestion back in mid-September. It was my trade. It was my trade. This is actually an RTS spread that we actually set up for mid-September for like a December time frame. It was huge, okay? Last thing I want to show you, and then I'm actually going to show you a little bit about the site. By the way, you guys are rocking it. Very impressed. It's really refreshing to have you guys putting this together and sharing your knowledge and not upselling everything and turning and burning your customer base. You've got a customer for life in me because of this approach. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. That's from David. Now, a little bit about the site itself, and I want to show you a couple of things. Okay. Go to theotrade.com forward slash Tom Tom Sam. Okay support we're here to answer questions for you there's stacy okay all you have to do is click add to cart it's 297 dollars. everything i mentioned tonight right it's all included people are like is this included yes there's nothing i'm not telling you that isn't included in here 
And after tonight, if you want to talk to me, email us. I don't care. It's okay. You know, it's okay. Now, I'm going to answer a few questions in here, but I also want to show you a site. This is what Theotrade looks like. This is the room where we actually broadcast. This is the chat room down below. Okay. This is the actual chat room. We have thousands of clients in there every single day. Next, we have a start here menu. What's the start here menu? This is the way you actually learn a little bit about the basics of options. If you're brand new to this, start here. That's what it means. Options 101, options 201. If you're a brand new trader, we want you to learn this business the right way. The next, we talked about 82 classes. You want to see 82 classes? Okay. They're broken down. Option strategies. Okay. Option newbies. Technical analysis, day trading, trend trading, hedging strategies, futures, stock classes. Okay. We even have mindset. You know, there's a mindset class in here. When we originally did the mindset class, we charged $1,000 for that one class. Now it's $297 for access to everything. Is it a good deal? Yeah, it's a ridiculous deal. Okay. How do we do that? Well, again, we have 3,500 members is how we do it. That, you know, doesn't hurt. And again, volume helps. We also have, again, access to every archive. This is searchable archives. Okay. We have a duration portfolio, fruit fly portfolio, small growth, okay, sell premium portfolio, you name it, it's all there. Again, all you got to do, go right here. I'm actually going to throw the address back up there and I'm going to answer a few questions for everyone. All right. So this is, again, it's unlimited streaming. It is a three month. I don't want to make that clear. It is a three month. Is it a commitment? Okay. Yeah. For three months, all right. For three months, we give you access again to everything, everything that we do. And I want to just highlight that on the screen. It's everything we do for three months. Now, a few things that I want to answer in here. Um, all right. Somebody said, uh, oh, after the three months, what happens? If you want after the three months, okay, you can come on again, 297. That's it. All right. This is not like an introductory fee. It's not an introductory fee. By the way, we also at Theotrade, we have negotiated rates at three major brokerage firms. And think about this. How many education firms out there, okay, have agreements with not one, not two, but three major firms, TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, and Tastyworks. We literally have, again, deals in place with three major brokerage firms where they actually do provide. If you have an account with them, fantastic. If you do not have an account with them, we will give you a specific link, and that specific link will help you get a discounted rate, okay? So first question that came up, is this a subscription for three months? Yes, it is a subscription for three months. Can you cancel any time? Yes, you can cancel any time. Okay. All right. Can I get out of Theotrade? trade? Can I stop? Yes, you can get out of Theotrade. trade. You can stop. All right. But we do it in three month increments because that's kind of the trade cycle. We're doing these, these infinity spreads for three months. Okay. Next question. I am having trouble getting approved for options because I have not traded options. Will your class help me get approved? Absolutely. will help you get approved for options. By the way, all the trades that we're talking about here can be done inside of an IRA, all right? Another one, another one came in here. I can't make the class live. By the way, the class is coming up on the 27th. Mark it in your calendar. It's Saturday, the 27th. If you can't make it live, we instantaneously, again, instantaneously archive the class and the slide deck is available, okay? The archive is available. It's okay. You miss something? Rewind. We actually have DVR, okay, digital video, uh, video recorder. You can even rewind portions of it. All right. Um, another person said, uh, "Hey, I'm I'm brand new to options. Can you help me out?" That's what that start here is for. So I was mentioning this, the start here menu. Go right to the start here. Okay. We want to ramp you up the right way. Listen, if you, if you have experience, go to that. Okay. Oh, another person said, uh, "Can I access Don in the future?" Support at theotrade.com. We use a common inbox. We'll support you. Of course, I'm telling you right now, email me. I'm not offended. Okay. We have 3,500 members. I could probably legitimately answer about a hundred emails a day, but there's also, there's seven of us. We'll get along. You know, that's like what? Six, 700 emails a day that we have capacity to answer. And if we get there, I'll bring on more traders. I worked in Chicago. Okay. For 15 years. We know everybody, everybody out there. We're stacked over here. It's good stuff. Um, oh, somebody asked a great question. Joe said, are new classes during the three months included for free? Absolutely. We do a new class at least once a month. That's awesome. I didn't even, uh, you know what? I, I don't think I even mentioned that. I don't think I even mentioned that, but yes, we do just that. Okay. 
we do just that. So, uh, you know, all the different classes, but if we have a new class, you're in there. Okay. We don't charge you. I'm telling you, there's nothing. People are always worried about that. There's nothing that you're not seeing here. Okay. There's no secret squirrel like indicator that you got to buy. We give you everything you're going to need. Okay. Do we trade weekly options? Absolutely. We have we actually have specific courses, multiple courses on weekly options trades. Okay. Uh, what hours does Theo trade go live? We go live eight minutes before the market. So we actually go live at 822 central and we're live until the close. 822 central live until the close. The longest break we typically have in a day, we'll have a break of about a half hour. Okay. And that, that break comes uh, just about lunchtime. And, uh, but tomorrow, tomorrow we have like a half hour break. We also have a happy hour though, tomorrow, which is tomorrow evening. Okay. All right. So you can access me in the future. No problem. Can you reach any of the other instructors at Theotrade? Absolutely. Do we have other classes in here? Yeah, we have 82 classes. You have access to them all. Okay. Again, I think you guys are going to love this. And, uh, please tomorrow morning, come into the chat room, say I'm brand new. Again, we start broadcasting 822. That's 922 Eastern time. Come in there and say, I'm new and you're going to get thrown into the deep end of the pool. That's what we do here at Theo trade. You'll ramp up. You're going to love what we're doing with infinity spreads. I'm really excited about the class on the 27th, but I'm telling you right now, get enrolled for it. Now get yourself acquainted with what we do here at Theo trade. Then come to the class on the 27th Again, it's theotrade.com forward slash Tom, Tom, Sam. Thanks everybody for joining us this evening. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.